Marty, wait. It, it's not what you think. What do you mean it's not what I think? What is it? It's what you think. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, of course it's what I think. If there's one thing I know, it's what that is. Marty. What is it? What is it? Marty, will you wait a minute? Marty, I want to talk to you. Well, I don't want to talk to you. Someone, please talk to me. Marty, please, will you slow down? I'm your mother. I can't take all this physical activity. Well, it didn't bother you a minute ago. <laughs> Marty, Marty, will you knock it off? I want you to listen to me. Well, I don't have to listen to you. I'm 29 years old. I'm a man. You listen to me or I'll cut off your allowance. <laughs> Marty, Marty, will you please let me explain how it happened? The last thing I want to know is how it happened. You're blowing this all out of proportion. Out of proportion? I didn't walk into that room and spot the tooth fairy. <laughs> Wait, hold. Hold. I gotta stop. Now look, first of all, what are you doing here? You make you make a loud noise, hey. I need to sleep, hey. Please, hey, keep the uh, lid on it, hey. I'll go, my sweet. Does the word deportation ring a bell? <laughs> Mr. Sandman, hey. I think I ought to be a part of this discussion. Wouldn't a better word be powwow? <laughs> At least you could have had the decency to put your robe on. I would if you'd take it off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. So that's what happened. Girl is a rocket scientist. <laughs> We don't need your comments May now. I have I have quiet, 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 quiet. Now, come on, enough is enough. It is one o'clock in the morning. I want everybody to go back to bed. Now. I mean, we can certainly discuss this much more rationally tomorrow. Now, everybody leave. Now. Except you. Commander, I have two things to say that might help this situation. One, I think I should stay. Wrong. Two, I think I should leave. <laughs> Marty. I'm still not sure I want to speak to you. I'm pulling rank. No, look, sweetheart. I... No. I can understand what a shock this must have been for you. No, you can't. I mean, walking in on my mother and my uncle involved in... that? <laughs> that? Marty, can't we talk about this? I can't talk to you about... that? If it is so hard for you to use an uncomfortable word like that, then why don't we use another word for it? What other word? I don't care, as long as it's adult. How about, uh, woo-woo? Woo-woo? <laughs> no, no, Mom, it was a lot worse than woo-woo. <laughs> then why don't we call it gyre? You know, like in Twas Brillig and the Slidy Toves did gyre. <laughs> okay! Honey, I know it was traumatic to burst in on your mother and see her jive. <laughs> Don't say that. But it's a perfectly natural function, Marty. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Well, you never let me jive when I was a kid. Because you weren't old enough to handle the emotional part of it. Yeah, well, obviously, I'm still not. So, yeah, and there is another, another difference. I love Zach. Well, I never liked the guy. <laughs> Marty, what are you talking about? You told me you thought he was so red. Well, he's not for you. What do you mean he's not for me? Oh, he's got you bamboozled so he can get whatever he wants. Mom, all I'm saying is don't give up real happiness for a couple of minutes of ecstasy. Don't be weak and throw away your most prized possession. My most prized possession is my microwave oven. <laughs> There is nothing wrong here. I love him. He's not going to respect you in the morning. Yes, he will. Maybe not as much as the night before, but... <laughs> oh, Mom, if he really loved you, he'd be willing to wait for you. Willing to wait. Marty, why do I get the idea that we have both died and come back to Earth in different forms with you as my father? <laughs> Marty, don't you see what you're doing? You've never thought this way before. Suddenly you're totally irrational. Why? Why? Because you're my mother. You shouldn't be carrying on this way, especially at your... What? Well, well, say it, say it. At your age. Bingo. Now we are talking. 
Marty, I want you to tell me where it is written, in what hallowed pages, that sex is the exclusive property of the Zitz crowd. <laughs> Okay, I, I know what you're trying to say, but it's, it's... I don't know. I mean, to think of your own mother that way, it's... it's undignified. Mom, m most older people I know don't even want to. <laughs> Why can't you be normal? How dare you? You know something? I think it's time you grew up a little, my darling son, and realized that it's perfectly normal for people of all ages to have feelings and needs. And this happy, healthy, moral woman intends to satisfy those needs up until her last moment on earth. And maybe if I'm really lucky and God smiles on me, that will be my last moment. <laughs> ah, here is a lovely table, just perfect for honeymooners. There you are. I'll do some water here, please. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> Will you stop looking like a funeral director? <laughs> People want to enjoy their meals. I not can help, Mrs. I really miss my beautiful little friend. Yeah, if her father catches you near her, you're going to be missing a lot more. <laughs> you look right. Don't try to cheer me up. Eh? <laughs> Tonight's our first dinner alone. Oh, uh, first dinner alone. I remember my honeymoon dinner. Oh, it was so, so romantic, so exciting, so moving, almost a religious experience. Like last supper? <laughs> He had a previous engagement. Amanda, I've got to talk to you. Not now, sweetheart. I have to stop Aldo from dragging all my customers into a suicide pact. For the last week, since everything happened, I hardly see you, except at night. Uh, he's the night watchman. Uh, would you care to order now? You get out of bed in the morning, and you go to work, and you leave me alone all day. I don't see you except when you come to my room. <laughs> Roger, don't listen. <laughs> I have a business to run. A pot roast is our... Amanda, business. I want us to be together. A relationship doesn't work on sex alone. <laughs> it wouldn't bother me. Do you have a pot roast? Pot roast. <laughs> Good evening. Amanda, what do you want? I think I'll have the, Maybe uh, it would be better if I talk to you later. Just make up your mind. Oh, I have. No, I no, have. no, it's a little hectic now. Just tell me what you want. I want... Look, I'm going to gonna... take a walk, and maybe by the time I get back, the customers will have calmed down, and you and I can have dinner, perhaps? Oh, sweetheart, I'm so sorry. I just... It's not just the work here. I mean, I've been... I, I've just been so <laughs> distracted. You know, I have to clear up this problem between Marty and me before I can even think of relaxing with you. I see. Yes. I'll have the lasagna. We ran out of that five minutes ago. I mean, you can't take all day to order. <laughs> have you seen Barton? I want to talk to him. Uh, I'll be with you in just a moment, Arlene. Don't bug me, Amanda. Because of you, my life is a shambles. Will you order? I don't have all day. <laughs> Spaghetti, you got it. What did I do? You know very well what you did. And what you did caused Martin to have a reaction so that now he doesn't want to do what you did because he saw you doing it. <laughs> oh, we, we cleared that up, didn't we? Amanda, you don't know what this has been like for me. All my life, since school days, boys have been chasing me. They wrote poems, they gave me flowers, they sent candy. They've always been after my boss. <laughs> oh, you must have had a very exciting time in high school. I'm talking kindergarten. <laughs> and the irony is now I can't seem to arouse my own husband. <laughs> Well, dear, I'm afraid the only thing you can do about that is talk to him. I tried that, but he won't listen. I've tried everything else, too. Back rubs, 
Oysters. <laughs> Sexy nightgowns. No nightgowns. Nothing seems to work. It's the recession. In a way, I look forward to being your age and not having to deal with these problems. I grow more fond of that girl every day. Hey, lady, can I get some service of here? Of course. What is it you'd like? To begin with, silverware. Alda, why isn't this table set up? Well, uh, how important in the scheme of life is knife and fork? Well, that depends. How important in scheme of life is absence of pain? Oh, <laughs> oh Mom, you're terrific. Oh. Mm. And I apologize for those terrible things I said about you and Uncle Zach. Oh, honey, that's quite all right. Will you forgive me? Of course. Mm. Thanks. I'll see you later. Marty doesn't seem to be upset anymore. I wonder what could have happened. Me. <laughs> you. Modesty was never my strong suit. I solved your problems with Marty. Oh, honey, thank you. <laughs> you are a veritable Sigmund Freud. No, it wasn't all that difficult. I just told him that nothing really happened. So come on now, let's have dinner. Why? I said let's have no, dinner. No, 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 no. The, uh, the other thing. Uh, run that by me again. I told him nothing happened. Marty's building this whole thing up in his mind, and if he thinks nothing really happened, then he won't be upset. But you're crazy. Everything happened. I know, I know, but what he doesn't know won't hurt him. Look, if it makes the boy feel better, what's the big deal? The boy doesn't have to feel better. He has to face reality. If anybody has to feel better, it's me, because of what you just did. I mean, all along, you say we love each other and there's nothing wrong. And... There isn't anything wrong. Well, obviously, you're ashamed of what happened. Don't be ridiculous, Amanda. Then why did you lie to Marty? I thought I was doing a good deed. Good deed? You hypocrite. You hypocrite. I crawl under the blanket and you sweep us under the rug. And I go out of my way to help you and your entire naughty family and you jump on me? Listen, Zach, and listen real good. If there is one thing that will not be happening in your immediate future, it's me jumping on you. <laughs> Here is your cocoa pan. Here you are, sir. Enjoy your dinners. Quite right. I told you there'd be trouble. And you said I was your favorite. <laughs> that kid of yours saw my daughter again. He is not my kid. I warned him to stay clear of my freedom. I thought I told you to stay away from her. He's not my father. He's hormones. <laughs> Nobody messes with Belts and the Butcher. Let's go, guys. Where, where are you going? Wait, what are you doing? Take it all, boys. Get your hands off my rump roast. <laughs> Lady, when I get through here, you won't have enough scraps for a meatball. Everything goes! Oh, not my leg of lamb, anything but that. All right, let's go. <laughs> Mr. Belson, Mr. Belson, please be reasonable. It's a little late for that. Is that today's order? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Belson, please, won't you reconsider? Hold it, boys. Okay, you got one chance. If that kid of yours totally breaks it off with my Frida and never sees her again, I may bring the meat back. Did you hear what he said? I hear him. But I love the Frida. He bluffed him. Huh? I want you to look very closely at these five fingers and tell me I am bluffing. <laughs> bye bye, Frida. <laughs> Mrs. Cartwright, I have just finished my meal, but for some strange reason, I'm not full. <laughs> you know, I really expected to see an eruption. I, I can't believe you're so calm. I chalked it up to just another day in the life of Our Lady of Perpetual Lunacy. <laughs> all right, I know I'm going to regret this, but what happened? It all started with Zach and me. And then Marty saw Zach and me, and that created a problem so he wouldn't with Arlene. And then Zach told Marty that nothing happened, but it did. 
So now Marty's happy, and Zach is mad, and I am miserable. Does that make sense? To an occupant of a rubber room. <laughs> Mrs. Cartwright, am I to understand that the bottom line of this problem is the fact that Marty can't understand your relationship with Mr. Cartwright? Can't and won't. Well, the solution is simple. All you have to do is apply yourself with a rational argument, intelligent thinking, and specific facts. I did all that. Then try spanking him. <laughs> of course. Physical violence. That's exactly what a man would think. You're all alike. Of course you're all alike. Mr. Mundy, I want to thank you. You have been a help. Look, if you should see Marty, would you tell him I'd like to speak with him? Oh, yes, of course. Have you seen Martin? I thought maybe he'd like to take a bubble bath together. No, I haven't seen him. And honey, I'm sorry that I wasn't more helpful when you first came to me about Marty. Oh, I understand. You have your own problems. I mean, here you are, way in over your head trying to run this hotel, <laughs> hoping to work out some shred of a romantic life at your age. Don't push it, Darlene. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. Boy, do I have good news. Uh, Marty, the good news can wait. I want to speak to you for just a moment. Oh, uh, sure, Mom. Listen, I'll see you upstairs. Oh, that is good news. <laughs> yeah, well, what is it, Mom? What? Uh, Marty, this is going to be a little tough on you, but it has to be said. Oh, well, you know, we've always been able to talk about anything. Almost. Look, Marty, I'm not going to pussyfoot around. Your Uncle Zach is a liar. What? When he said nothing happened, when you burst into his bedroom, that was not true. He was just trying to spare your feelings. You mean that something happened? I mean that everything happened. <laughs> oh. Okay. That's it? Okay? Yeah, I, I understand. I mean, it's been a long time since Dad died and you were lonely. You couldn't help it. Dad, I could help. What I'm going to do now, I can't help. Ah! <laughs> but I told you I understand. You don't understand. You haven't a clue. Marty, think. Think. If the situation were reversed and Dad were alive and I were dead, which at the moment sounds rather appealing. <laughs> if you burst into that room and saw your father in bed with another woman, you probably would have said, way to go, Dad. <laughs> well, I might have thought that, but I, I would, yeah. But would you have said, way to go, Mom? Well, of course not. Why not? Well, because you never think of your mom. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, gummy, gummy, gummy. <laughs> Let me. Gummy, gummy, gummy. I'm sorry, Mama. Come in. Oh, I don't mean to break up. Oh, no, 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 no. It's all right. I think Marty and I have finished our conversation. Yes, we have. Hi, Uncle Zach. Way to go, Mom. <laughs> Amanda, I have been thinking about what you said. I should not have told Marty that lie. Right. I realize I shouldn't have interfered. Right again. It was between you and your son. Right. I was trying to keep you, and now I may have lost you. Wrong. <laughs> you mean you forgive me? You're damn right. <laughs> so everything is back to normal with us? Exactly like it was. With all the romance and the talking and your 4th of July and your pinwheels and your skyrockets, exactly like it was. No. No? No. No, that's not what I had in mind. Oh, Zach, you're driving me crazy. I mean, I agree to what you want and now you say, look, I'm not going to go along with any other arrangement and that's that. I want you to marry me. Except that, that. <laughs> Give me a minute to... You know. All right. 59 Mississippi, 58 Mississippi, 57 Mississippi. Well, what do you...
do you say? <laughs> is this your good ear? Yes, fine. Because I don't want to take any chances on your not hearing my answer. Yes. What? <laughs> you know, I like you. You know, I like you. Oh. Oh.